Good morning, good afternoon to you and uh, welcome to the MCO Wheaton Loading Arm Solution webinar. Yeah, first of all, thank you for registering and dialing in and uh, of course showing interest in our company and uh, our products. Yeah, as you um, can see, today's webinar is mainly about loading arm solutions from MCO Wheaton and uh yeah loading arm solutions overall but but also uh we, we will have uh, one part of the webinar will be about uh service first of all um let me show you the table of contents of today's webinar so after a short introduction and a presentation who we are um, then we will immediately go to the marine loading arms part where we will show you different marine loading arm applications. We will show you uh, the MK Wheaton marine loading arm types and of course some main components for our marine loading arms. After that uh, I will hand over to my colleague who will then present the land loading arm systems and uh, his presentation is split into several parts uh, like uh, top loading arms, specialty loading arms, accessories, like swivel joints and also different applications for land loading arms. Then um, another colleague will talk about the aftermarket strategy and especially also about services and network. And at the end of our session, we will have a question and answer session where we will be able hopefully to answer all your questions. And uh, uh, in the meantime, during our webinar, you will be able to type these questions into the question and answer section of uh, Zoom. Okay, then let's start with the first point. So introduction and presentation, who we are. Yeah, lean on us to help you make life better. This is a guideline of Ingersoll Rand and therefore also M. Wheaton. So uh, we see ourselves as the experts of uh, loading systems. And for that reason, we are here to help you make your life better. Whenever there's a question, there's a problem, you can lean on us and we will try to help you and find the correct solution for your application. A little bit about Ingersoll Rand itself. M. Wheaton is part of the Ingersoll Rand group. Um, and we have a long history, as you can see, uh, more than 300 years. Uh, we have more than 40 brands combined under Ingersoll Rand. We are present in more than 50 countries, uh, global employees, uh, more than 16,000 and more than 100,000 customers. This offers big advantages of course to us, but also especially to our customers, since we can supply solutions, not just for loading systems, but for several other applications. And we have exports uh, that can help you solve all, uh, yeah, every, every problem that has to do with loading solutions or transfer of fluids or whatever. Um, now coming to, to MCO Wheaton, who we are. MCO Wheaton is a company, um, that um, yeah is in the in the part of of uh, loading and uh, unloading of fluids and gases and we have also experience in uh, since more than 100 years with innovative attitude and uh, skills to help you as we just said make life better and providing the best solution for fluid or gas transfer equipment Loading systems is one part of MCO Wheaton, um, which is uh, divided in marine loading uh, systems and also land loading systems. But we are also offering uh, several other products like refueling nozzles, swing joints, dry brake couplings and adapters. So whenever you have um, a request, um, for these type of products, also don't hesitate to contact us. We will be here to help you. MK Wheaton has two manufacturing uh, centers. Uh, one is located in Kirchheim, Germany, where also I'm located. And uh, the other one is in Houston and Texas. Uh, Houston, Texas, this is the picture on the right-hand side. And the other two pictures show uh, the manufacturing facility in Kirchheim, Germany, 
where we are manufacturing our marine loading systems and also our land loading systems. Yeah, this was the short introduction and now we are coming to the marine loading arms itself. So first of all, something to um, myself. My uh, name is Alexander George. In Germany, it is George. I'm a sales manager, loading systems, responsible for uh, Europe, uh, Central, Eastern Europe, and also Africa. Um, I'm with MK Wheaton since now more than seven years. And uh, originally, I started mainly in the marine loading arm department. Uh, so for that reason, I'm also let me say expert in marine loading arms, uh, but now I'm also responsible for the land loading systems. Yeah, now to the index of the, the presentation. First of all, we will have a general description, then as already mentioned, uh, different loading arm applications, loading arm types, main components of our loading arms. Then I will also talk a little bit about after sales, but the main part of after sales and service will come at the end of our webinar. And uh, then we will have just some, let me say, uh, description why you should choose MK Wheaton. MK Wheaton is a supplier of fluid transfer systems and accessories since 1957. Um, in the meantime, we have um, built more than 6,000 marine loading arms, which are located really all over the world. We have some in Brazil, some in Australia, some in colder countries, hotter countries, so for different applications, but you will see that afterwards. Um, our marine loading arms have that well-proven rigid link design for highest mechanical integrity, and this offers also lowest possible maintenance requirements. Now coming to the general uh, general description of the marine loading arm. Basically, a marine loading arm is a rigid pipe system um, with uh, swivels uh, to enable the loading arm to follow the movements of, of the ship. Um, so this already, let me say, describes the, the main parts of the marine loading arm. So it is the pipe itself, it is the swivels to follow the marine, uh, the, the ship movements. Next to this, the marine loading arm can be equipped with yeah, different uh, equipment, like, for example, ladders, platforms uh, to make maintenance easier. Um, then next to this, it can have an emergency release system that we will also see afterwards. Um, of course, counterweights to always balance it. Um, different other equipment like drain valve, like uh, yeah, as I already said, uh, emergency release systems and uh, different other things. Um, then let's move forward. Um, we basically have different loading arm applications. So depending on yeah, the product to be transferred, depending on the size of the marine loading arm, of the length of the marine loading arm, but also depending on uh, to which ship the marine loading arm will be connected. So we are starting with manual arms. These are manual uh, balanced arms, um, manually operated, of course. And uh, these are normally used uh, for smaller distances and to be connected to smaller ships. Then next uh, application would be the hydraulic marine loading arms that you can see in the upper middle picture. These are loading arms normally of uh, bigger sizes and uh, also to be connected to bigger ships. Uh, typically, these also have, um, yeah, let me say, uh, different equipment attached uh, to the uh, marine loading arm, and these are hydraulically moved. So together with the marine loading arms, you will have to purchase a hydraulic power unit that will um, drive the marine loading arms. Um, then on the right hand side, these are ERS loading arms, emergency release system loading arms, so equipped with a system which allows um, the disconnection whenever uh, there is um, an alarm or maybe the ship drifts away before the loading arm exceeds his envelope, then these arms will automatically disconnect uh, in order to uh, not destroy the ship or that the arm is not destroyed. 
Then on the uh, bottom left picture, you can see oil and chemical loading arms. Um, these just um, yeah, uh, have different uh, product lines made of different material. In the middle picture, you can see LNG loading arms equipped uh, to LNG tankers and an FSIU. And on the right hand side, uh, on the bottom part, you can see a high pressure natural gas loading arm. Um, of course, the different types uh, also have different names. So for um, the manual loading arm, the name in, at MQ Wheaton would be B0028, which means we have a self-supporting design uh, size from four inch to 10 inch manual operation. Then we have our B0030, which is um, also self-supporting design available from four inch to 20 inch. Uh, and, uh, can be manual and hydraulically operated, uh, but this is the first uh, type of loading arm where we have that rigid link design. Then you can see in the bottom picture, this is our B0300, which basically means that we need here a structural supported design uh, due to the fact that this is mainly made for, um, let me say, uh, special applications like natural gas. So we have cryogenic applications or high pressure applications or chemical applications where, for example, the product li line has to be made of uh, stainless steel. Um, main and in integral part of uh, our loading arms, as already stated in the beginning, are our swivels. So this is the basic part which allows our loading arm to move and to follow the ship movement. Also here we have different uh, designs um, yeah, for different applications, uh, designs with a normal steel, with uh, stainless steel, some special uh, swivels for high pressure applications and so on. But something special is that um, here our ra raceways are hardened down to a depth of uh, three millimeter and uh, the raceways are uh, completely incorporated in the, in the swivel itself. Now we are coming to different uh, equipment for a marine loading arm. And uh, first, and yeah, let me say one main important part can be an emergency release system. Um, as we can see here um, the, in the middle picture, the lower part of the um, loading arm, this is the one where we have the connection to the, to the ship. And in an emergency case, so ship drifts away, and uh, um, the, uh, the loading arm exceeds his working envelope, then we have an automatic disconnection. So both valves uh, will close, then a clamp will open and uh, the marine loading arm will be brought back to parking position to avoid damage, to, to avoid product spill. And uh, this is um, yeah, a very important system. Then uh, next part, which is the main connection between loading arm and uh, the ship are the different type of couplers that we have. So uh, we can offer just a bolted flange, um, which is uh, yeah, maybe enough for your application, but we also have different other types, which make it a little bit easier and a little bit faster to connect the loading arm to the ship, like a manual coupler equipped with cams that uh, have to be closed when the uh, loading arm will be connected to the ship. Then we have hydraulic couplers. And uh, on the right hand side, you can see a specialty of Emco Wheaton. This is a hydraulic coupler for high pressure natural gas application. And Emco Wheaton was the first company to develop such a coupler and also to develop arms for this application. Then um, one main part, of course, for the hydraulic operated um, marine loading arms is the control unit uh, that we can see here. Also here, we have different types of control unit depending on the equipment of the marine loading arm. So it could be a quite simple unit just used to move the arm, but it could be also a more complex unit with uh, uh, let me say a control unit inside which controls the movement of the arm whenever you go into freewheel mode, uh, um, which controls the movement, but also which controls um, the equipment like uh, the coupler or like the emergency 
release system. We divide our systems in uh, system one, which is purely hydraulic control of the arm movements. There you will have uh, levers on the arm uh, to move it. System two is already electrohydraulic, so not just a simple hydraulic unit, but uh, with an electronic part inside um, where you have uh, push buttons on the panel to move the arm or uh, um, pendant uh, controller or maybe even a radio remote control unit. And then uh, the last one is the system ERS, um, which controls uh, the movement of the arm and also is responsible for the emergency disconnection. So a part of that system are also accumulators uh, to uh, have enough uh, hydraulic energy to um, do the emergency release whenever there is uh, power loss on the jetty. Some additional equipment uh, that can be attached or uh, yeah, attached to the marine loading arms is a vacuum breaker uh, for easy release of, uh, of the product. This is mainly used or solely loose, used for, for fluids. Um, then we have, of course, drain connection also to release the product out of the arm when loading has stopped. Um, nitrogen perch line can also be attached to our loading arms. This is also used uh, to push the rest of the product out uh, of the marine loading arm. And uh, then as already mentioned in the, in the very beginning of our webinar, ladders and platforms can also be attached to the loading arms. We have different designs. So real platforms or just steps. Uh, we have uh, fishbone ladders, we have uh, two ray ladders, ladders with cages, everything. Um, is basically possible, but also everything has, has an influence on the design of the loading arm. And um, our loading arms can also be equipped with a vapor return line um, to uh, yeah, get the vapor out of the ship's tank back to shore. Um, after sales, as already mentioned in the beginning, my colleague Rob will tell you a little bit more about that, but just to mention that also we are, um, able to provide after sales services like supervision, uh, service and spare parts, transportation, and of course, also commissioning and training. Um, we also have uh, different sales offices. Uh, we already shown the manufacturing shops, um, but there's also a, a third manufacturing shop in Margate in United, K uh, United Kingdom, where we are not producing marine loading arms, but we also have uh, service people over there where my colleague Rob is, is also based. Yeah, then finally, why choose Emco Wheaton? Um, as mentioned at the beginning, we, we have a long history with marine loading arms and uh, we already installed uh, marine loading arms in yeah, every kind of environmental conditions. Uh, we have loading arms for all type of applications and uh, um, yeah, solid uh, motion transmission actuated by rigid link cylinders directly installed on the arms. And uh, yeah, we have, let me say, first class performance swivel joints um, that we are using for our marine loading arms. So this was the first part. This was the marine loading arm part. And I now hand over to my colleague, Laurent. Laurent, I think you are still on mute.
Sorry, do you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear Okay, you. sorry. Uh, so, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I thank you for your participation in this webinar. I'm Laurent Lajeuny, sales manager in Amco Witton, uh, and I work for more than 20 years in loading arm business, mainly for Europe and African territories. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I'm going to present in a few minutes uh, MCOBITAN activity of long learning system and mainly the long learning arm. Uh, long learning arm uh, are quite simply uh, all loading arm to load or unload ton trucks, right car, and container. Uh, in other words, everything uh, without marine. The product uh, handled by uh, loading arm can be liquid, gaseous, or viscous. It can be uh, from soap to sulfuric acid or chlorine, and it can be also from a refrigerated gas to bitumen. So we can say that uh, with all of our technologies in our position today, we can process almost all liquid and gaseous products. Also, uh, regarding the material, uh, it can be carbon steel, stainless steel, uh, low temperature carbon steel, or aluminium, uh, with a range of size range uh, from two inch to six inch uh, temperature range uh, between minus uh, 196 degrees to uh, 250 degrees and the, uh, and the design pressure from 10 bar to 40 bar. So, uh, so the MCO Witton is arranged, as you can see here, allows to cover most loading or unloading application. And so um, we need nevertheless to distinguish two types of load by the top or by the bottom. And I'm starting, uh, as you can see here, by the top uh, loading. And, and uh, top loading require to climb on the vehicle, then opening a manhole or valve at the top of this vehicle and moving an arm from a gangway to fit it into the compartment. So the most common application is for petroleum or white product. And we propose for that, for this application, or a range of three standard arms, fixed switch. That you can see here, the fixed switch, a variable reach, or a long reach here. Uh, depending on the, uh, with different design, of course, and lengths, depending the working envelope. And uh, the working envelope and, or the, re, the, 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 the envelope drawing that uh, we need to cover. Uh, and for the long, 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 long reach loading arm, uh, we are able to cover around 10 meters without the need to move the truck to finish the loading. And this feather is really important for the safety. Uh, uh, of course, different accessories for the standard uh, loading arm are available on request, like uh, posi position switches and overfill probe. But it's an example. There is uh, other uh, possibility uh, uh, equipment to, to install in this loading arm. Here it's an example of uh, uh, of a rack with loading arm. We have here at the bottom a rack with variable uh, with uh, six variable loading arm, and here at uh, the right side uh, a rack with a platform uh, with uh, five loading arm, top loading arm, uh, long reach. So 
So, so as said, uh, this range of top loading arm for white product are standard by the design, the length, and the equipment and accessories. Contrary to the range of arm for chemical or food, which are always specials. As this one uh, on the pictures, each loading arm in, is considered as new loading arm with special design, special materials, and special connection, depending the product, aggressive or not, the flow rate, the working temperature, type of vehicle, control regulation, environment, and so on. The combination are infinite. I couldn't I could not, of course, present today all the combination, but just say that we always find solution for all customer. So I prefer uh, to show you after uh, some interesting uh, feather often request by customer. This one, for example, an important functionality uh, required by our customers that we propose uh, when we load by the top or by the bottom is the vapor recovery. Uh, because the vapor are harmful, uh, toxic for the environment on the operator. In this case, for a top loading arm, a top uh, application, we use a cone. On a second arm, the vapor in blue here. Uh, and or we can use also a hose uh, instead of uh, a loading arm uh, to recover the vapor, uh, which are afterward sent out to either a vapor recovery unit or to, to the torch or to the atmosphere, but farther from the loading area. It's the, the target. Another functionality is the heating system which is required for loading out products here it's presented one of the system with jacket heating on the loading arm for example uh, in four inch we weld on the tube a higher diameter here uh, a tube in five, in, five uh, inch sorry or six inch and we do the same for elbow. Uh, this give, this uh, give us a double jacket connected by fixed tube here or stainless steel hoses. It's possible also to install hoses uh, in stainless steel uh, instead of uh, tube. Uh, and this uh, at the end give a double jacket connected by fixed tube or stainless steel, uh, to, sorry, uh, this gives us uh, the, the capability to bridge the swivel joint in which circulates either steam or hot oil. Here we have a perfect, perfect example of loading arm which integrate the two functionality I just mentioned previously. Uh, it's a double arm uh, to load uh, liquid sulfur at around uh, 150 degrees with vapor recovery line and with steam jacket to keep the product at the right temperature. In addition, for this arm, the movements are operated by hydraulic cylinder in a three axis. This picture is a, an example of top loading uh, for crude oil uh, for wagon with vapor recovery house on cone. We have here another example of double arm for bitumen, but with electric heating system instead of, instead of jacket heating, including a monitoring system to control the valve and check the pressure, temperature movement, and so on. So 
something else here it's for orange juice uh, with movement operate electrically with a cover plate a probe uh, and uh, the particularity of this application is it it's uh, that uh, when the loading is finished the arm is stored in a refrigerated box like a freeze and the last example for uh, top loading arm uh, special loading arm uh, by the top is uh, for IBC or drum filling uh, with a two inch loading arm uh, with a little valve uh, and uh, operated manually uh, and uh, it's of course a more safe uh, it's a safer sorry and easier than to move a hose on the floor So we just saw previously the top loading arm, and I'm going to speak now about bottom loading arm. So in contrary to top loading, with bottom loading, there is no need to climb on the vehicle. The loading arm is connected on the side or the bottom of the vehicle with either a flange or a coupler or a simple screw. As for top, we can have a double arm uh, to recover the vapor or balance the pressure into the tank. The most common bottom loading arm uh, is the one used for loading white product. Uh, it could be like on the picture with houses. With API M Coviton coupling coupler uh, Geo452 or uh, for the new for Geo453. And uh, so we can see that it's uh, really uh, simple. We have the metering system, a grounding device, uh, monitor uh, control for the probe, uh, the overfill device. Uh, and uh, we have uh, only uh, three loading arm, uh, one for gasoline, one for uh, gas oil, and uh, the one for, uh, for fuel oil. Uh, uh, it's the same uh, kind of skid, but with five loading arm. So we can go up to six or seven loading arm because some, the most, sometimes we have uh, some gasoline with, uh, with uh, special additives. So uh, for, uh, uh, to, to, for, for, from different uh, petroleum company. Uh, so that's why it's possible to have um, more than uh, four, five, six uh, loading arm. Uh, so here, it's really the same application, but, but with rigid arm, uh, because it's possible to have the same uh, skid, but with rigid arm, uh, which is really interesting uh, for the maintenance, how the hoses need to be replaced frequently. Another view about uh, loading skid with a rigid arm. The other very common application for bottom loading is the LPG application. The most of time with double arm and equipped with breakaway coupling and more and more with dry break todo coupling that uh, I will uh, explain uh, later on. I will show you now uh, different applications for chemical or food uh, by the bottom. Uh, here it's, it's also for LPG. So uh, this one is to uh, unload a truck 
by the by the rear uh, uh, and with uh, vapor arm and uh, todo coupling uh, and here with uh, its for wagon uh, so uh, uh, it's really common so for chemical for example this one is uh, an application for uh, ethanol uh, with dry black coupling uh, the loading arm is uh, in, in stainless steel material This example, this application is for uh, for uh, ethylene oxide uh, with also dry break and uh, vapor return arm. This application uh, was for ammoniac uh, uh, with a stainless steel arm, and again with dry break coupling for wagon. And the last one, no, it's not the last one. This one is for caustic soda uh, with uh, electric heating system uh, and with, uh, with uh, uh, unloading by the rear also. It's possible to have an example, an application with LNG also at minus uh, 196 degrees. For liquid sugar, for food application, for beer. And okay, uh, and uh, that's... Uh, that's why that's the, it was uh, the, the, the presentation for uh, bottom loading arm. So now I'm going to present you uh, some important component on accessories for loading arm. Uh, the most important, of course, on essential, essential component of a loading arm is a swivel joint. It has to be very reliable and must allow easy maintenance regardless of the product loading or unloading. The design of or D2000 swivel, which is fitted in our all loading arm, is a split flange design, means that the bearing module on seals can be easily replace and so that construction of the loading arm can be done like a Lego. The other very important functionality is the handling. This has to be as easy as possible for the operator, even if we have heavy weight on it. M. Cobitton work a lot on the improvement of the design in order to make an easy handling for the operator. It's really, again, in terms of loading time, safety, and health for the operator. Another example of easy handling. So here we have up, approximately 60, 60 kilo uh, at, the, at, the, at the end of the loading arm. Huh? Uh, uh, so, because we have a breakaway, a dry break, and a valve, and we we'll, we see that uh, even if we have this uh, big weight on the loading arm, it's possible to 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 hand to handling it uh, very easily. So, I finished to speak about long loading arm on would like to show you uh, quickly all the range of products manufactured by M. Uh, first of all, the 
the folding stairways on platform uh, uh, or folding uh, can be uh, operated manually, pneumatically or hydraulically, and material can be uh, carbon sink galvanized or painted or in stainless steel, uh, with or without basket, uh, from two to seven steps. And uh, so it means that we have many combination, many possibilities. So uh, don't hesitate to uh, to uh, send your request uh, for this uh, range of uh, uh, folding stairways uh, if you have some uh, some needs. We have a range also of floating suction uh, that uh, to install into the tank uh, from two inch to uh, 20 inch. Uh, we propose various design depending, depending on the tank dimension and type. I present you here uh, the grooming device M Coviton, uh, uh, or model uh, DCMT4 has two grounding relays in series in order to increase again the, lev the level of safety, uh, which is uh, precisely uh, certified SEAL2 uh, uh, with a temperature range between minus 40 degrees to 70 degrees. Uh, and uh, as you can see, a very, a very large lead, lead uh, viewing, uh, very useful for the operator uh, when uh, he is at uh, several meters from the monitor and want to check the status quickly. So uh, it could be really useful uh, to, uh, uh, to increase uh, the velocity uh, of the loading. Uh, he has also uh, a software with Bluetooth uh, connectivities, which allow to adjust or read the parameter. And very important also uh, in our bottom loading arm for white product, uh, we have uh, frequently uh, our coupler Uh, M Coviton Geo 452 or 453, manufactured in or factory at Margate. Uh, the dry break AP coupling uh, shown in this presentation is a semi automatic system with a snap on, snap off design, allowing a very easy connection. And uh, we are pleased to announce that, that we are going to launch in the market or new API coupler GEO 453. In this new coupler, we have again improved the weight, the ease of maintenance, and the handling for connection. And in addition, the pressure design has been also increased to uh, 16 bar instead of 10 bar for the GEO 451 and 452. Another coupler they known in the chemical market or uh, JT1 market is the Todo dry break coupler for gas and liquid. Very easy to connect on disconnect, safe and environmental friendly and no exposure or vapor for the operator. We see here the difference between a connection with a dry break or a connection uh, for a flange and uh, it's uh, of course uh, important to note that it's a dry break so there is no spilling and uh, in to finish the presentation uh, would like just to just uh, also explain uh, to, to give also another uh, 
another uh, presentation of what we manufacture huh? uh, because we have a large range of breakaway couplers huh, that we install in our loading arm for all applications. Uh, it's uh, the, 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 the two parts of the breakaway split and the puppet close on each of these two parts to stop the product. Uh, this allow uh, to protect the installation and avoid uh, an accident. So the presentation is now finished. And I was happy to present you uh, our products. And I thank you very much for your attention. So um, I uh, propose now uh, to my colleague uh, to present the services. Hello, Rob. Hello, yes. Uh, Alex, Alex said he would uh, show my presentation because I'm having uh, problems my end. Ah. Uh, Good morning, good afternoon. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Rob Williams and I'm the UK service manager uh, for, yeah, UK and Ireland and also supporting my colleagues uh, in the, in our German and uh, Houston office in the US. I've been with Emco Wheaton for 25 years and 15 years I've been working in and around loading arms. So next slide please, Alex. So why, why use Emco Wheaton? So the benefit of using Emco Wheaton, all our service engineers are available to travel globally to, to your uh, terminals to carry out yearly, biannual service and inspections, overhaul and new installations. Uh, they will also have the full support and technical support from our engineers based back in our facilities in Germany, the US and in the UK. Alongside our uh, MCO Eaton service technicians, we also uh, use the help of our global network of distributors and agents, and they also on hand to support, support our engineers and also to support customers as well in, in their individual regions. And with over 50 years of experience in the loading arm industry, all our engineers are trained to a very high standard. Next slide, please, Alex. Preventive maintenance, uh, PMI. Uh, to ensure operational safety and to prolong the, the life of, of your load arm, air techs can carry out a complete service and inspection either yearly or biannual, which for the majority of our customers, they prefer the, uh, the biannual. Uh, it, this also depends on the usage of the load arm as well. If the load arm's only been used three or four times a year, one service per year is okay. If it's regularly used four or five times within the month, biannual service is the, uh, the way forward. Once the inspection is completed, a detailed report checklist is supplied, highlighting the general condition of the loading arm and any recommendations. To, to improve the operational reliability of your loading arm, a service and inspection is highly, highly recommended. Uh, next slide, please, Alex. So re refurbishment. We have several, we have lots of loading arms, MCO Eaton loading arms still operating globally uh, that are over 30 years old. And we have many requests from our customers for us to carry out complete overhauls. You can see here as, as, uh, some pictures here of uh, an overhaul we carried out in the UK recently. Uh, 
All our overhauls are carried out using uh, MCO Eaton original spare parts. And as we and as we still have all the documentation for the low numbers which we've sold over the many years, it's not an issue for us to uh, supply you with quotations. It's also highly recommended that an overall is carried out after loan arm has been in operation and service for let's say around 20 years. As long as you've had uh, regular maintenance, you know, the life of an MCO Eaton arm can, can last for a very long time. We have arms which are some in the UK and the rest of the world are still over 50 years old. Refurbishments can be carried out either at your facility or, or even with one of our distributor uh, facilities or, or even at the uh, customer, at your cu customer site and terminals. Uh, next slide, please, Alex. Installations, new installs of, of our equipment. All our engineers are fully, fully trained to supervise the, the install of your, of your load now. And uh, prior to the install, we will provide the assembly erection procedure along with a working schedule. We can arrange uh, to have a Zoom or Teams call prior to the engineer arriving at your site to discuss the install. And of course, when the engineer arrives at site, he will be supervising the install and he will ha have in his, his place all, all the documentation required. Uh, for the lifting procedures, uh, we provide all the information needed, the length of slings, et cetera. So, and we can also discuss with uh, the crane operators which you're, you're hiring for, the, uh, for this work. Next slide, please, Alex. Service maintenance contracts. Uh, we, are, we are looking to bring out uh, three different levels of uh, maintenance contracts. Uh, the first being the silver one. Uh, in, the, in the silver contract, you will, you will get an annual visual inspection and lubrication, uh, a leak test with nitrogen. We would also review your spare parts and your two year spares and offer quotations if needed. And at the end of this service, you will have a certificate of inspection and service reports. For the gold contract, uh, including what's involved in uh, what's included in silver, you'd also get a biannual uh, visual inspection and lubrication, a hydrostatic test annually, and a yearly updated uh, operator training. And for uh, platinum, uh, it's, it's an annual manual. A major inspection of the HPU and control system by one of our uh, specialized system engineers. Uh, service rates will be fixed for two years and we offer 24 hour response time on uh, emails and telephone calls. Next slide, please. Recommended spare parts. So, our guarantee from MCO Eaton is only MCO Eaton parts are based on the original product drawing and documentation ensuring we, we adhere to the original design. In addition, we continuously are improving our product design, which enable us to provide the latest generation of spare parts to be installed. Uh, we also offer support when you're ordering uh, the correct parts, identifying, we, we can supply uh, general arrangement drawings with parts disks and also telephone calls at and Zoom calls are, are available as well. Sorry, please, Alex. Sorry, next slide, please, Alex. Customer training. We provide customer training at, at your site, the customer site, at MCO Wheaton and more recently we've been doing, uh, during the pandemic, we've been doing a lot of remote training as well. Uh, operator training, which is a training session we also provide is, is to update the training because it's commonly known that people within the industry come and go from different companies. So there's always new personnel arriving and ongoing training is also a good, good practice as well. And we provide train, training also for the sake of operation of the, the low known, which is very important. 
Next slide, please, Alex. I've put a list here of all our key contacts uh, from Germany, uh, myself in the UK, and my two colleagues in, uh, in the US as well. Slide, please, Alex. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for listening to my presentation, and I hope it was uh, beneficial to yourself and uh, your colleagues. Um, okay, so I think that maybe we're gonna start to answer uh, several questions that we um, we see in the panel. So uh, the first of the question is uh, from Pablo Bolanos. Uh, he asked uh, if the marine lodinars um, have futures for insulated flanges flint, to prevent static. Um, yes, yes, of course we have that. Um, there are basically two possibilities. One is to have a, um, a specific flange in, included in, 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 in the pipe section of the marine loading arm, where we have an insulation part between the two flanges. Another possibility, um, which is a little bit easier, is uh, to include um, that insulation part um, into one of our swivels. Um, so two um, possible solutions are available. Okay. Uh, thank you, Alexander. So the next question is uh, regarding land product arm and top loading rack. What is the design of our system that uh, yeah we have to implement an um, overfill prevention control? So I think this question is for Lauren. Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. We can hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, what kind of uh, overfill probe, overfill system we can uh, we can install in the loading arm? Is it your question? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so it could be uh, it could be uh, the most of time uh, we uh, install a, a, a vibrating probe, uh, uh, but uh, it could be also. Uh, uh, pneumatic probe. Uh, it could be uh, also uh, uh, a sensor, uh, another kind of sensor. Uh, uh, there is no really uh, standard for that. Uh, it's a discussion uh, with the customer, and it's uh, it could be also according to uh, uh, the rules uh, uh, in the in the from the site uh, uh, from the customer so uh, the dis discussion is open for uh, the technology of overfill system okay um so the next the next question is related to the dry brake valve and yes it's also from pablo and he asked mm -hmm. if uh, they can be connected between uh, two quick uh, coupling rubber houses yeah, I already answered by. Um, okay. But but okay, of course it's possible huh, to install a, a dry break uh, on a hose, but uh, the question is also to know if it's it's possible to connect with a cam lock. So, a dry break todo. Uh, the uh, uh, design of. Uh, on, the technology of a dry break is uh, with a female and male part. Huh? And uh, the female is uh, todo part is compatible with the male part, huh? uh, according, of course, to, the, uh, to the, 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 the diameter and so on, but not with another technology of connection, like camlock or uh, uh, other kind of uh, uh, type of uh, um, of connection like Waco or anything else. Okay. Uh, the next question is from Michael, uh, and he asked uh, if we can use um, if we use composite hoses for the vapor only. And no. if uh, mm. no, okay. And uh, do you, do you also use flexible composite hoses for oil and gas and chemicals as well uh, as well, or do we? Or and the arm connect with uh, tubes and connectors directly. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't 
be sure i'm not sure to understand the the, the last part of the question but uh regarding the the material uh, of mm -hmm. the houses we use uh, the most of time composite houses for uh, white product uh, uh, either uh, for uh, li liquid uh, uh, or vapor uh, uh, but uh, for chemical, it depends the product, but it could be uh, also uh, in stainless steel uh, or uh, rubber uh, or composite. It depends the, uh, the product. Um... Okay. Uh, the following question is regarding to overfill safety devices for top loading arm. Um, mm -hmm. We can, uh, yeah, provide. Yeah, uh, what is it? Sorry, I'm not, I don't understand the question. Yeah, so no, uh, Byron asked if we can provide overfill safety devices for top loading arms. Yeah, of course, of course. It was a, a, it was a present uh, uh, previously uh, in my presentation. I show. Uh, uh, an application uh, where, of course, it's uh, it's the case uh, we uh, uh, we install uh, overfill probe on the uh, top loading arm, uh, 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 either uh, on the cover plate or a sliding system or uh, a cone. Uh, um, to but it's an overfill system. Uh, it's not. Uh, a probe to stop uh, to stop the uh, the loading uh, after uh, uh, after uh, uh, the loading is uh, at uh, one hundred percent. Maybe uh, not sure that uh, it's uh, it's clear, but it's it's uh, overfill system. It's a safety system. Uh, it's not to cut the loading uh, loading process. Okay, and Oscar uh, also wants to to know more about uh, loading liquid sulfur application. Could, could, do, do you uh, please uh, tell me again? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oscar wants to, to know more about uh, uh, loading uh, liquid uh, sulfur application. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, the most of time, uh, the for sulfur loading arm, uh, the uh, temperature with a temperature at one hundred and fifty degrees, we use. Uh, uh, a top loading arm uh, uh, with a uh, heating system, uh, either uh, by jacket heating or electrical heating, uh, uh, in order to maintain the, the product at the good temperature. Uh, uh, and uh, many accessories and equipment can be also added uh, or, uh, on, on the loading arm, uh, like a cone, like a probe, uh, than I, I explained uh, uh, previously. Uh, we, can, uh, we can have a double arm uh, uh, to recover the vapor uh, uh, or uh, houses. Uh, but uh, by experience, we know that uh, uh, it's really uh, uh, more efficient to use a double arm. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I show a photo uh, during my presentation where uh, we have also uh, a, a the possibility a loading arm with a control system uh, to open or close the valve, to uh, check the temperature, to check uh, the pressure on the uh, vapor return arm, and so on. So everything is possible. <laughs> Many things is possible uh, with this kind of product, which 
which we know uh, is uh, really uh, uh, sensible and difficult to handle. Okay. Uh, thank you, Laurent. And uh, the last question also from Oscar is, um, yeah, he asked if it is um, the goblins and movements to drug manholes are manual or not. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. From, the, from your question. Could you please repeat? Um, yes, if, if the goblins and movement to drug manholes are manual or not. Uh, the coupling uh, in a uh, Loading arm with houses? Is it the question? Yes, yeah. of course. It, it's yes. It's uh, we 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 move it manually. We move it the the, the loading arm manually, uh, and we open and close the uh, coupling also manually. Okay. So I think that that yeah, all the questions were answered and. Uh, if there are no more questions, I think that we can close the webinar. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining. And anyway, you will receive our, our recording and uh, you will be able to, to receive the, the presentation if you request. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.